welcome back. Check out the new boat. Picked this up over the winter and it needed some work. So, so far I have puttied all the rivet holes. I have put flex seal on it. Uh, I think I've done two coats of flex seal. This thing leaked like a bitch. It has a pump on the in the back of it, which is immediate red flag, but you know what I got for a steal. Came with a trailer, but I recently sold the trailer because it was, uh, in other words, kind of garbage. <laughs> so I got that trailer up there that we're gonna turn into the boat trailer, but the boat's not bad. It came platformed out. It's It has a depth finder, came with a trolling motor. So I gotta get a gas motor if I wanna get it on the river, but that's a project that we're gonna be working on soon. The weather is nice, it's like 70 degrees. I wanna go on the water so so terribly bad, but that trailer's not 100% mine yet, so I gotta wait the word, if you know what I mean. But that is not the purpose of today's video. Today we're gonna be talking about fishing. It is coming up on the pre-spawn. I'm gonna be showing you my top five favorite spring bass lures. Springtime is the best time to fish in my opinion you have the pre-spawn coming up you have the spawn coming up and especially on the in maryland area the east coast right now we're getting closer to april uh spawn usually hits towards the end of april but right now it is going to be crazy in the next couple weeks for those big pre-spawn mamas coming out of the water to feed but there are five lures you have to implement into your arsenal my number, let's, we'll start five to the first. So number five for me that I like to throw is a jerk bait. <sighs> jerk baits, you can fish deep, you can fish shallow, but you can't fish these too fast. You gotta work them slow. When you cast them out there, cast them along to about, not on the shoreline. If you're on a boat, you wanna get them as far out as you can, but if you're on a boat, you wanna parallel the shoreline with them. Find that deep drop, drop off edge. And with the jerk baits, you throw it out there, you give it like a, I, I do a three twitch pause. So I'll twitch the rod, boom, 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 and this dives down to the bottom, and then jerk baits rise up. So once you, once you hit that third strike with the rod, these are gonna start to suspend. You really wanna suspend that jerk bait, because right there, that's when you're gonna get the bite. And then when you go back to the three twi twitch pause, I usually wait about like five to seven seconds, then I'll do it again. Yeah, that's exactly when you're gonna feel that, <laughs> that rod get a little heavier. and. Jerk baits are perfect for this time of year. Uh, they're really good in the winter, but this time of year, jerk baits are an absolute must in your arsenal. Doesn't matter on what color, in my opinion. Your clear waters, you want to go more natural. Darker waters, more darker. You guys get the gist of that. Um, but I like running the two hook jerk baits. The three hook jerk baits tend to get all hung up in too much weeds, and I think it's a little overkill in my opinion. I've never had a problem with a two hook jerk bait, but. Use what you want, use what you have, and definitely implement a jerk bait into your arsenal. Moving on, lipless crankbaits. Lipless crankbaits are some of the most versatile lures in the world. You can fish them all times of the year. You can rip them out of grass. They don't really get hung up that much. Unlike square bills, square bills kind of run like this. Lipless crankbaits more run like that. They're a little more down. They kind of vibrate through the water. They make a a lot of noise. This is a red-eyed shad. Fish your whatever color pattern you like. I love fishing the more shad type because around here in the Potomac River there's a lot of shad going on right about now. Uh, lipless crankbaits are awesome. I don't run them a whole lot just because I mostly fish waters where these are going to get hung up in way too much of this stuff. But implement a lipless crankbait into your arsenal for the spring and you'll be surprised on what you catch. So with the lipless crankbait it is more for your reaction bait. You want to, you're going to be driving it around the, on the middle to deep edge, up close to shallow, depending on where, where they're at, where you can find them. Just drag them through the school, drag them around some deadfalls, and you'll get those reaction strikes. But spinner baits, you can fish a lot deeper. You have to run a trailer hook on the rear of it. If you don't know what a trailer hook is, it's basically an extra hook. You can take a little, bit, little piece of silicone and you slide it on the back end of the original hook and it's not gonna slide over that bar. It just hangs out in the back, it's completely covered up by the skirt, and you are gonna implement your hookup ratio probably about 50% more for the success rating. I like running any types of colors depending on your water situation. This is just a chartreuse, or this is just a white shad color. Uh, spinner baits, you can hit any types of a water column. You can run them shallow, but you can really run them deep because you're not 
you, they're not gonna really get hung up as much on a crankbait. You can throw them out there in the deep waters. You can let them sink all the way to the bottom and just slow crank your reel. Just let the spoons pedal around and you can run them slow, you can run them fast, you can run them almost like a buzz bait. Uh, where you're just casting up shallow and cranking them really, really fast. You hold your rod tip above the water. He's gonna make a whole bunch of ruckus, whole bunch of sounds. They're just gonna smack around. And spinner baits are always versatile all times of the year, but especially in the spring when you're running them over on the shallow winds where the beds are or coming down to the middle, middle to deep water columns. Uh, you run them by a, a big old bass that's just waiting there looking for an easy meal. Nothing easier than a slow loop moving spinner bait. So definitely implement this into your arsenal. Now, one of my favorite lures in the world is a jig. If anybody here knows who I am, they know that jigs are one of my favorite lures to fish. You can fish them all times of the year. Winter, you can run them. Summer, you can run them. You got flipping jigs. You have swim jigs. You have finesse jigs, heavy pitch, flipping and pitching jigs. This is an all around good jig. I forget who makes this jig. I bought this off of an AP Bassing link that he used to fish with these. Jigs run phenomenal. They, they, you can swim them, you can hop them up and down over deadfalls, you can pitch them into deadfalls, you can run them deep if you just want to run them in the deepest water column. If you think that's where you, if you, your fish finder is picking them up down there, you can drop it all the way down there and kind of yo-yo it off the bottom. Or you can run a swim bait uh, tail if you really want that, that fish movement. But jigs, I don't really have to say much about jigs because jigs have been used for years upon years and definitely implement jigs. I always got a jig run on the boat. I like using a heavy rod um, and I like running a fast action reel. I got the uh, a 13 fishing bait cast reel that I run. It's eight to one uh, gear ratio. So as soon as I can pitch it out there or wherever I'm throwing it to, just slow work it. And as soon as you get in that bass's mouth, you need to reel up all that slack, as much tension on that line so you can set the hook. Definitely run jigs. Can't stress enough, jig catch big fish. So run them, add them to your arsenal. And lastly, but not least, the fluke. Flukes are my favorite soft plastic to use year round. There are any colors you want. Flukes are amazing. I like them better than Senkos, honestly. You can fish them the same way you fish a Senko but they just, they're more versatile. A Senko, you're just gonna have to let it, you know, sink to the bottom, twitch it a couple times. Senkos are lazy fishing, in my opinion. They catch big fish, I run them, so I'm not gonna debunk Senkos. You can run them this time of year for sure. They just don't make my list because I don't enjoy use, using them because they are expensive. Yamamoto Senkos are like eight bucks and I can run through a pack of Senkos in probably two hours if, it, if, it, if I'm getting into the fish, so. It's definitely more cost friendly to run flukes. They're just a little harder material. Flukes are amazing. You throw them out and you can give them a little twitch, twitch, kind of like a jerk bait, and they just do this action in the water. You can sink them, you can lift them up, you can jerk them around, you can put them on a shaky head. Uh, they're just the most versatile lure in the world, in my opinion. A lot of people are going to back me on that. I like using shad colors. I caught between me and my uncle, we caught close to 50, I believe, smallmouth on Potomac River on this lure. They're just insane. Very visible and smallmouth love them, largemouth love them. You can fish them out in the middle into a school of fish. If you find a school, you can fish them shallow. You can fish them no matter what circumstance. You can fish with a fluke. Check them out. Strike Kings make the best one in my opinion. Add these flukes in your arsenal and you will catch fish. I guarantee it. Send me some pictures on the IG and you will be amazed if you add these into your arsenal. Out of any lure that I've ever talked about or shown you or that you have in your tackle box, these need to be in it. Go pick one up. You can get them at Walmart. They are the best lure in the world. Trust me. No matter if you're running spinner baits or if you're running jigs, you're running flukes, jerk baits, no matter what you're running, Get out there and fish. This is the best time of the year to be out there on the water. No matter if you're fishing from the bank, you're fishing from the boat, it doesn't matter. This is the best time of year. Get out, enjoy the world, enjoy the hot, warm weather, getting out of the, the cold, dumb winter months, getting close to turkey season as well. So if you're fishing anywhere along the banks of river canals that back up to public waters, 
be careful there might be some turkey hunters back in there i know i'll be out there so look out for me we'll be having some podcasts running up soon stay tuned for that check me out on the tiktok at draw the line outdoors check me out on the ig at draw the line outdoors and thanks for watching hope everybody enjoyed the video get out there and fish get out there and hunt and I will catch you on the flip side. We're going to get the boat out and running soon. We're going to be on the water. A whole lot more videos are going to come y'all's way. So stay tuned. Peace.